My wife got me this typewriter-ish kind of keyboard. My typing slowed right down. It got me to think about what I was writing a little bit more and everything kind of became a little more focused. My name is Omar Lakad. I'm a writer based in Portland, Oregon, and my novel, What Strange Paradise. This is Lake Effect. It's an anthology of student writing from Queen's University. It came out in 2003. It was the first time I'd ever been published. This is a story. It's called Dead Lions. It's not particularly good, but it was one of those moments where I stopped thinking about writing as this sort of hypothetical thing. I started thinking that I could base my life around it. But just to be clear, mine is the best story of the bunch. So this is my writing space. Um, we have, we live upland and a house on the property and this is what we call the little house which is basically just a shack where I write. The windows overlook the forest. On an ideal writing day I will write in sort of morning, afternoon and then I'll edit late at night, sort of past midnight. So one of the things I do long before I start writing anything is I'll start sketching out the thematic and narrative load-bearing beams of the project. Uh, I have these giant pieces of paper that I'll start drawing uh, chapter outlines, character charts, thematic outlines. You know, in the case of What Strange Paradise, it's a very Old Testament, New Testament kind of book. You know, an escape from, uh, an exodus from Egypt, and then a miraculous rebirth. So that tends to be about the first year, year and a half, just kind of laying out the blueprints before I dive in and, and start writing the thing. The only thing I really do for fun is, is rock climbing and, um, during the pandemic, I decided to build my own climbing wall. And this thing is a death trap. At one point during the building process, I had to Google the phrase, how to connect two pieces of wood. But it was a bit of a lifesaver when you're stuck at home for months at a time. I don't let anyone near it, but I'm quite proud of it.